Hi, this is the Peaceful Prepper, and today I'd like to do a little show and tell of my keychain personal alarm. I'll also explore the pros and cons of a keychain alarm, keychain alarm versus a whistle as I see them. This is the Vigilante Professional Series Personal Emergency Alarm that I bought on Amazon, and I'll put a link below if you're interested in looking at it more closely. It uses two AAA batteries and claims to be 135 decibels. And I have no way of testing that, but also no reason to think it's not true. It also comes with a second pin, which is a plus because I can imagine losing the pin that you pull out after you've pulled it during an emergency. There are a lot of different keychain alarms, and I've only used this one. Behaven recommended another one to me that is also on Amazon, and I've linked it below. This is the mini keychain personal alarm with light. And I don't know the brand other than that, but this is the information. And here it is. And the way it works, you can either put it on a belt or a bag with the clip, or they say you can use it as a keychain with this. However, I don't think I will risk that because this is the pin that you pull out for the alarm. So if it's hanging from this, it seems like it could accidentally get pulled. It does have, there are a couple of buttons here, it does have a little light. It's pretty bright out here, so it's a little bit brighter than it looks like, but I wouldn't use this much as a light. This doesn't do anything, this big button. And then there's this small button that you can also use to set the alarm. And it just, um, the alarm just goes for as long as you push the button. This is the small whistle I carry on my keychain every day. I've had it for a long time, so unfortunately I don't remember what brand it is, where I bought it, or the decibels that it claims. Sorry I don't have more information on it. Both the whistle and the alarm can obviously be used to signal for help in a variety of situations. They may be loud enough to surprise someone who's attacking you and give you a few seconds to get away, but I wouldn't count on that. The alarm can be deployed faster since you just need to give it a pull rather than raise it to your mouth. You don't need to have any breath to use the alarm. If you're out of breath, the whistle won't be very effective. Depending on the situation, the whistle could also be a choking hazard if you're trying to blow it while running or in the midst of a struggle. On the other hand, the whistle doesn't need any batteries, so it won't run out of power. It won't go off accidentally, and it's smaller and can really be kept on a keychain so I'm much more likely to have it on me at all times. I'm more likely to carry the alarm if I'm out at night, but not if I'm running around with minimal gear. I'll show you a test on how loud they both are next. I'm not sure how well it will come across on the video. I also tested it out in the open where there were a lot of trees around. In the city, bouncing off concrete with less open space, I find it sounds even louder. Subjectively, the whistle sounds just a little louder to me, but that may be because the whistle is closer to my ears while the alarm is at my waist. I don't know how well the sound is going to pick up, but first, this is the whistle that I carry on my keychain every day in the city. And let's see how loud this is. It's a pretty loud whistle. And this is the personal alarm that I've bought that you can wear on a belt, put on a bag, and then you just pull to make the sound. And let's see how loud this is. And got to put the, that back in. Thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe. Be safe. Be happy.